It came. It came. Oh man. I'm like a kid in the candy store, man. It's like Christmas. And I'm stupid, man. I'm just, I'm just spending way too much money on stuff, but. Oh, oh look at this. Look at that. Yes, it's another RC car. I know. This one is ready to run. This is. Oh, it's going to be so fast. Five miles an hour. Well, you have to change the gearing, which they give you. They give you the gearing to change it. But... Oh man, look at this thing! Ow! I have a remote. Then we have a vehicle. Oh, look at that thing. Look at that. Wow. There's a lot of stuff in here. Alright. I don't know what big foam block. I think these are some spacers to, to make the spring. And there's the gear. If you want to make this thing go 65, you got the gear. You got that. A couple of tools. Some stickers. Probably warranty registration. Owner's manual. What is this? Oh, okay. So this is a uh, parts or something, I guess. Yeah. So even though, like um, most anything that's halfway decent, even though this is already together, ready to run, um, you can still get parts for it. Anything you need that you break, uh, you can get the parts for it. So why another? The Tamiya's the Tamiya is cool and all that, but it's just it's old technology. Yeah, I can upgrade it a little bit, but they're just not designed to take the bashing like these things are. Okay, so flip that, flip that, and so I think it's like slide. There we go. this look at the size of the motor in here look that's that's it for the antenna look at this big electronic speed control big motor look at this thing oh man these things are a beast oh man look at this thing you know it's pretty badass when it has a wheelie bar Oh, that's right, it has a clutch, that's why it's jumpy like that. There's a clutch in here, believe it or not. Oh, man, look at this thing. Ooh! God, look, look at that, this is gorgeous. I wasn't really quite sure about the paint. When I looked at it online, it just looked a little too flashy and crazy, but... Man, hell yeah! Like I said, the, the Tamiya's are pretty cool, but they're just not like a durable, you know, you don't jump them, you don't do stuff, you just race them around the dirt and all that stuff. These things, like literally, you can look online, there's videos, people like jumping these things like six, eight, ten feet in the air. Not that I'm kind of nervous to do that, but it can be done with this. If I can ever even figure out how to get this body on. There we go. I think that's on. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Tell me that's not freaking gorgeous. Oh, wow. These rims are supposed to be like a black. Black chrome. And they look totally silver. Hmm. Weird. All right. Uh,
Or how do you open this thing? So I know it's, even though it's supposed to be ready to run, it does not come with a battery or a charger. And this does not even begin to come close to the batteries on the Tamiya, which is a 7 volt nickel metal hydride. This is 11 volts lipo. This should be fun. Well, there you have it, folks. <laughs> oh, I'm stupid sometimes. I know. I, I don't know what to say. Uh, yeah, another RC car. Let's go ahead and charge this thing up. And then go take it out for a spin. insane my god this oh this is by far the fastest thing I've ever had look at this thing oh wow Love this thing it is such a freaking beast you see how fast this thing is i also love this clipless body look just take that up slide this thing back a little bit and boom it sounds brutal but it's not um, so this is probably mostly to do with the florida heat this thing here is the electronic speed control right here you can see it's got fins to keep it cool and then here is the electric motor right so we got this big electric motor <laughs> and then the speed control now some of the models that Traxxas makes there's fans that go here on the motor and on the speed control this is kind of it's not the low end model but it's the lower end so it doesn't have it I, I did get the fans I ordered them from Traxxas direct they actually even give you provision right here there's a wire to put the fan on the speed control and then the fan here will go in here underneath this cover. So yesterday uh, I took it out and I was running it around the ball field and a little bit into it it started reduced power and then it shut down and here on the speed control was flashing real fast red which means it was in the thermal protection. So I can't even run a whole battery on this right now without overheating but then again like my GoPros and everything else are overheating. They're shutting off in this heat. I did the time lapse of, uh, past video of the uh, hummingbirds and that, and the GoPro shut off before the battery died. Ah, ah, ah. Damn, that motor's hot. <clears throat> this bathtub type chassis is very, very strong, but it also collects a little bit of everything in here. <laughs> God, this thing is freaking insane. This is by far the fastest RC car I've ever had in my life, man. Technology going from mechanical speed controls to electronic ESCs, from brushed motors to this has a brushless motor. Going from like a, uh, what was it, 7 volt nickel metal hydride to 11 volt lithium lipo battery. Whew, this thing is just insanely fast. Wow. But yeah, this is by Traxxas. It's the Rustler 4x4 VXL. It's basically like a stadium truck, they call it. I wanted that. I wanted something lower so I could take turns and do stuff, you know, versus like one of their monster trucks like the X-Max or something like that, which is another awesome vehicle. Tons of ground clearance, but it's going to be easier to flip over and stuff like that. So I like this a 
I like this thing a lot, man. Um, this this thing is insanely fast. Wow. And I can actually make it faster. They give you a gear that you can change off the motor, and then it'll go 65. <laughs> right now, I think it's going about 45 to 50. But if there's a trade-off. You put in the higher gear, the engine works harder, the suspend, everything, you know, the drivetrain works harder to get it up to speed with that steeper gear. So you get less battery life, the motor gets hotter faster. So if you're going to off-road and jump and stuff like that, like I like to do, then you're better off with the smaller gear. If you're out here on the street doing speed runs, then you can change it. But yeah, this thing can actually go faster than what it is now. I have no desire to do that. I think it's already plenty fast enough. I wish I could show you like the capabilities of this thing, like jumping. There's videos on YouTube. People launch this thing like literally 10, 15 feet in the air, and they survive the jumps for the most part. Depending, you know, you don't land too crazy, but oh my, very, very capable vehicle. It's by far leaps and bounds above anything I've ever had. Now, my to me, the one I just built, the Hot Shot, still a great car. Four wheel drive. I'm zipping around. That thing handles so nice. Like it just takes turns. And you can go, this thing here, you try taking a turn. It's, I mean, yeah, you have to slow down, do it. You can do it right. Um, I had some fun uh, drifting it around a bit, but, you know, they each have their own purposes. But, ah, fantastic car, man. I couldn't be happier with it. Check this thing out. Ooh, just got this dropped off. Little work stamp for doing the uh, RC cars. Seeing how I'm kind of really getting into this stuff. It's kind of nice when you are uh, taking wheels and that off that you have something to uh, put the car on. So I got this on Amazon. I'll leave a link in my uh, Amazon store under RC car stuff if you're maybe interested. So I don't know how many of my subscribers follow. Or do RC car stuff. Maybe we gain some new people here. So this was pretty cool. This, the stand itself is not bad. You can get them for 15 bucks or something on Amazon. I got this one because it came with uh, this whole packet of extra nuts, bolts, and things like that that you can use. A couple of Allen wrenches, but oh wow, look at this thing. Everything's individually bagged. Wow, that's kind of but man we got all kinds of body pins lock lock nuts and washers even small ones little o-rings all size of nuts bolts it's supposed to be variety of stuff that you would need for fixing rc cars so pretty cool little setup there uh, to give you a tray too which i believe is magnetic Maybe not. No, it's just a tray. I don't even think this mat is magnetic. Could be wrong. No, I don't think it is at all. Uh, wow, they don't give you any instructions as to what any of this stuff is. If you have a Tamiya, that might look familiar. A little lug wrench. I guess it's really good for any of the uh, variety of stuff out there. And then there's one more thing here that I like is that it comes with some hex wrenches that are pretty common uh, in fixing RC cars. Get a regular bit screwdriver. Oh yeah, so you get a regular, a Phillips, and then you got a four. Which I believe is uh, three, two, three, one point five, one point something. Yeah, yeah, two point five, one point five, a two, and a three. And then you got a couple of hex drivers, which should be good for yeah, like that. Take them off and. I give you this to little driver thing. So pretty neat, complete set. I mean, I have tools and stuff like that, but I'd rather just have something I can keep out there in my workshop and just it just be for RC cars. Oh, that's cool. So that that locks. So then you got the collar here. You slide that comes out. 
pretty nice. Uh, but a force, I don't give you any instructions. I don't, I don't get what all this. So you have this mat here, and I'm guessing just <laughs> just adheres here, and it gives you like a little bit of a cushion when you're dropping parts in here. So I got to use the uh, tool kit that it came with to put it together. <laughs> so I guess we can uh, try it out. See how it feels. So far, so good. Yeah, feels pretty good. Tighten that up nicely. Um, so here, I think there's a little set screw. Oh, look at this. It comes with the uh, little rubber feet. Oh, no, no, look at this. There's bigger ones. Well, actually. Oh, look at this. Okay, so that's going to be like my one complaint is that there's no zero instructions with this kit whatsoever. Um, I thought these things came out, but those are circles that came out. I'm thinking that these here are the feet, which I already, <laughs> already put one on here. So yeah, my biggest complaint with this thing is there's zero instructions uh, whatsoever. I mean, it's not difficult to put together um, just take a second and look at it you know you got two screws down here that hold the shaft on there's a set screw which once you set this is adjustable how high you want it, so once you do that there's a weird little spacer that's kind of cone shaped has a little conical shape to it that goes on the bottom and then the tray and then you got a washer and a screw that hold that so not terrible um, I just wish it explained stuff more. You have the strip here, which I found out it is magnetic. Even the one you put in the tray is magnetic. I don't know why I didn't pick up anything earlier. I guess either these things are too heavy or they're, I think they're aluminum. But yeah, it does actually hold bits and pieces. And then this tray dips up, and this is where you put these foam strips, which I don't believe they're magnetic. Yeah, this is just foam. It's not magnetic at all. And it just protects your RC. Or actually, I'm not even sure about protection. Like, But what it does is it gives it grip so that way it doesn't slide off is what it does. So look at that. Pretty cool. So now if you want to take off a tire or if you need to work on the suspension, like you're, if you're cleaning it, you can unscrew this arm and the suspension will drop down. You can clean out like your half shafts and put it on and you don't have to worry about sitting on the ground so now you can just pick it up put everything together I think it's gonna be handy I really do I think this thing's gonna be handy uh, I brought out the little 1a scale crawler <laughs> I don't think this is I think it's a little too big for a 1 8 uh, might be able to do some kind of work with with it on there but no so pretty cool like I said uh, the magnetic strip here uh, not sure, mate. Well, that one makes sense. Why would you put tools in here? You can't work on the car. I'm not sure what these little hooks right here are for. Said so it would be nice if they gave you some kind of instructions. I mean, maybe that's no. It won't fit these pieces. I mean, I don't know. I just if you guys know what these little hook things might be for, please chime in. Other than that, I'm kind of lost. You know, they give you. Oh, I bet you these are for the magnetic tray. Yeah, these little feet are probably for the tray and already wasted one. Yeah, so they give you this one square. It's got rubber circles. And I bet that's for this tray. None of this is terribly difficult. It would just be nice if they explained it a little bit better. And... Let me see, you got these circles here, which fell out. One, two, three, four. I'm not sure where the rest of them went. But yeah, okay, so anyhow. <laughs> so that makes sense. These circles fell out of here, which I seem to be missing some. Not a big deal, but 
so there you have it. Um, like I said, you can get the stand cheaper. Like they they have them for just like about fifteen dollars. Um, some of them come with the magnetic tray as well, and then some like this one have the complete kit with all these uh, tools. And this some of them have tools. This one here is three, six, nine, fifteen different things here. So this was the the most out of any of them. So I went this route. Oh, freaking awesome, man. It's amazing. So this is cool. Now I actually have a proper place to work on my cars. Just in case anybody's wondering how the new car stacks up to the Cloud Buster, the Cloud is still the king of size. This is the king of speed. So, oh, man. <laughs> man, please let me know in the comments down below what do you think of the RC car action going on here in the channel. Like I said, I don't know, it's just something I did as a child and now getting into it. I mean, you can see this new stuff is just, wow, it's leaps and bounds beyond uh, where we were in the past. Hold on a second. I think a more fair comparison would be how does it compare to the Hot Shot. So you can see it's quite a bit bigger, quite a bit wider. This is a, still a fun car, man. I have, I really have fun driving this car around. Um, it's planted. You take turns. And, you know, just have a good time with that. This thing is for when you want to get wild. If you want to take some like serious jumps it's obviously some serious speed oh man I, i'm happy man I, I, so let me know in the comments down below what do you think of the rc car action i mean this is just something i did as a child and i'm, I'm really getting back into it man I, i'm enjoying it um i do have some parts coming for this car some improvements that can be made um i got some stuff that i'll be doing to it and you know who knows what else might be coming <laughs> hint uh so yeah ah, freaking so happy man. i'm loving it uh just trying to enjoy life man the best i can you know just you know got my back issues and stuff like that i'm trying not to let it hold me down you know we got the the mountain bikes so i've been after mountain biking been doing some road cycling and uh getting back into some old hobbies here with the uh, rc car so Hopefully you guys enjoy the content I'm putting out. It's what I got for you right now, so hopefully you enjoy it. Please, like, share, comments appreciated. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Check out my links down below, get you some discounts, and you know, it's always good ways to help out the channel with like the Amazon store and stuff like that. So these are all free ways that you can help me uh, keep the channel up and running and I greatly appreciate it. So until next time, everyone, stay safe, stay positive, and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.